So you've worked super, super hard on your website or blog. You've poured hundreds of hours of work into it. And now you're ranking in the number one position slash for the snippet in Google. That said, you've just checked this month's analytics and poof, those number one positions and snippets have completely disappeared. Now, if this story sounds super familiar, then fret not because this is exactly what happened to me last month with my blogs. In the video today, then I'm gonna share three quick points on what you should do if you have indeed lost all of your snippets in Google. So let's jump into it. So before you go about making any particular changes to your website or blog, it's super, super vital that you take note and really start investigating if indeed you have lost all of your snippets. So hopefully when you first started getting traffic on your website, you would have started taking note of the sheer number of posts that you have ranking, not only in the number one position, but also in the Google snippet position. For myself, it was around about 40 or 50 posts that were in that initial snippet position there. Next up, you wanna take note of if your traffic is indeed dropping and not dropping by like 50, 60 or 70%, but a normal general figure I tend to find is around about 20 to 30%. So if indeed you are losing 20 to 30 percent of your traffic that is also a really good indicator there the final way of determining this then is just by using tools like ahrefs or semrush i actually did this last month with semrush which has a fantastic feature to actually determine the number of snippets that you're winning with your particular website and lo and behold when i checked it all of those 40 and 50 snippets were completely gone and i was left with absolutely no snippets which absolutely sucks so now that you know if you've actually lost the snippets or not the next most important thing that we need to do is determine the roots cause that being said this is most definitely not easy and the downside with this is that Google uses well over 200 different factors to determine your position in the search in its algorithm there. On top of this you don't need me to tell you if you are setting up your own blogs or websites that you know ranking in Google, ranking in search engines is becoming much much more volatile than it was even one or two years ago with updates happening way, way more frequently. Now, that said, having researched this for the past couple of weeks or so, since I noticed my snippets were actually gone, I've identified probably four key indicators and four key reasons why you may have lost your snippets there. First up then would just be a very simple one, which is a change or an error in the algorithm. Essentially in this situation, then Google would have changed something in their algorithm that they probably shouldn't have changed, which has caused you to lose all your snippets, regardless of how informative, how in-depth they were, all of those different elements. In this scenario, which is a fairly common one, let's be perfectly honest, you probably just need to wait it out for the next algorithm update. Second one, and this is probably a bit of a controversial one, but it does happen out there, unfortunately, is that you have been black hatted. In this scenario, then a rival website or a rival blog would have highlighted all of your snippets to Google as being incorrect or unfactual or any of those different kinds of things and Google is now observing all of your snippets and removing all of your snippets to determine if you are indeed a trustworthy website or not. This is a very dirty game unfortunately blogging and some people are douchebags out there and they will do these kinds of things to penalize your website in order to promote theirs unfortunately. Again with this one if your website is up to good quality and you know all your answers are correct they should hopefully fingers crossed come back after a certain period of time. Point three and this is going to be another controversial one but someone else has just written better more quality in-depth snippets than yourself across all of the keywords. Now whilst you might think it might be a little bit weird for someone to kind of scour your website and copy all of the keywords that you're going after and write in-depth snippets on the back of it unfortunately this thing also happens there as well and irregardless of the quality of the rest of their posts if their snippets are on point, there is a good chance that they will outrank you there in this situation. In this scenario then, it might just be as simple as you know rewriting every single one of the snippets on your website just to ensure that you do indeed rank once again. That said, losing all your snippets on the back of this is gonna be rare. And even if a competitor copies every single one of the keywords that you go after, in my opinion at least, that shouldn't yield a 20 or 30% drop in traffic. It might yield a five or 10% drop in traffic there instead. And point number four is just your on-page SEO is affecting your snippet ranking. In Initially then, I thought that this was the thing that was affecting my snippets being lost on Google. So essentially what I was doing is I had a reusable block that I was basically using to highlight an affiliate product, which was placed very, very close to the snippet. And because it was highlighted in bold, it appeared as a snippet, which might have thrown Google off a little bit into thinking that, you know, this was actually an additional snippet. And while all of those four are pretty straightforward and things that you can indeed control and adjust and maybe go forward with, in my opinion, there is one final fifth factor, which is probably the biggest factor 
and the fact of that unfortunately most of you will experience I think at some point in your blogging journey which is essentially Google is taking more and more of the search with their AI tool Bard. With the rise of AI like ChatGBT and Google Bard and all these different elements it's, it's just natural then for Google to want to keep as much of the traffic as they can in-house to maximize their own internal ad revenue. They're taking these snippet answers aligning them all together in their own internal search engine and coming up with these searches themselves. In my experience then over the next five to ten years snippet regardless of their list snippets, you know, answer snippets, whatever it might be, will be completely replaced by AI and, and sort of Google's own responses there, which is obviously horrible. So how exactly can you get your snippets back? Now, honestly, as much as I like to say that this is a super easy question to answer, the truth is there is no yes or no answer to this and it can be incredibly, incredibly difficult. For example, I'm definitely gonna go into my website and clean up the on-page SEO and see if that kind of amends things. I might adjust some of my snippets there. Even by doing that, I'm still convinced that I probably won't get my snippets back for a couple of reasons. I've reached out to, you know, loads of people in the Project 24 forums, loads of expert bloggers here on the YouTube space and a lot of them who've also lost their snippets who are, let's be honest, far more experienced than me and far more knowledge about me about the blogging world. They've lost their snippets without the ability to recover them there as well, which kind of proves my point of Google taking more and more of the search there. On top of that, the people in the Project 24 community that have indeed managed to regain their snippets from doing a lot of hard work, unfortunately ended up losing them again a couple of months down the line. So any of these fits, aren't a long-term solution. As such then, and I know that they're probably gonna get a couple of dislikes for this, but the truth is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna focus on the traffic that I can control to rank for that number one position, as opposed to the snippet position there in Google, and just make do with this new status quo of what my traffic is gonna look like going forward. If indeed I do manage to kind of increase the amount of snippets I get going forward in the future, I'll 100% keep you posted, but at the moment, I'm just gonna see it a little bit as the cherry on top. Look at that, you can see right into the corridor. Um, as always, if you're interested in more videos around, you know, blogging, side hustles, personal development, sales, business, any of those different kinds of elements, absolutely smash the like and subscribe button as it genuinely really does help out the channel. And until next week's video, I'll leave you to it, gang. All the best for now. Have a good one. Bye.